building Europe is the presence of uh, such a strong presence of Polish people in this country, such a long tradition, proud tradition, that we value and cherish highly uh, and celebrate. Uh, and that's what's actually making us into Europeans, sharing that and understanding how much we have in common. Roger, thank you. And actually, um, the Polish is uh, the Polish history is taught in the A-level. Um, Victor, Victor, please. Um, <laughs> sort of question, I'm sorry, maybe I hope I'm not putting Daniel in on the spot here, but I, but I know that, uh, thank you, I know that Daniel and David Cameron and many other Conservatives want Britain to stay in Europe, want Britain to stay in a single market. But the, the, the fact remains that if they're, they're now that they're calling, for whatever reason, they're calling this referendum, what if, uh, if they don't win the arguments? Uh, are they going to, are, if they don't, sorry, if they don't renegotiate, because this is the key thing, they're saying they're going to renegotiate, what if they don't manage to renegotiate? What are they going to say in the end? Are they going to actually say that they're going to leave, as your colleague here has suggested, that they're actually going to say, all right, in that case, we'll leave Europe, or are they still going to find arguments to, to stay in? Well, it's not putting me on the spot at all. It's, um, it's a good question. Uh, I have taken advice from my own association, uh, in my own constituency, about how I'm going to try to influence my constituents when, when and if the referendum comes. And what we have decided locally in Shrewsbury is that we are going to wait uh, and see uh, the extent of the re renegotiated position. Uh, Mr. Cameron is not revealing a poker player when he goes into play, a poker doesn't put his, all his cards on the table. Mr. Cameron is uh, trying to, if he gets re-elected as Prime Minister, will try to renegotiate on the things that he perceives to be of most interest to the British people, and then we'll <coughs> put them to a referendum. And I, I'm very relaxed about that, because I, I really do believe that the British people will will look at what has been renegotiated, and hopefully we can convince them uh, if it's enough to remain in the European Union. It's not enough. Well, and if it's not, and if it's not enough, then there will clearly will be elements of my party who will be campaigning to pull out um, of the uh, of the European Union. But let me just say this: um, when when I go to Warsaw or, or, or Berlin, they say they are very keen for the United Kingdom to remain in the European Union. And Mr. Tusk, uh, when he was appointed to his new position, I think one of the first things that he said is that he wants to do everything possible ensure that the United Kingdom stays in the European Union. There is a certain amount of goodwill and understanding that some movement has to take place. I don't think it's a bad thing for one large country to go to Europe and say, look, we're sorry, but these parts of the rules do not comply with what we want. We would like to renegotiate. That's a perfectly sensible thing for any sovereign nation be able to do without antagonism, without um, hostility, but in the sense of transparency and accountability to our own electorate. Stephanie, is the coalition partner, are you convinced? They're fine words, uh, but you're changing some of the rules, and, and why not? I would agree with Daniel, the rules need changing. Uh, we've just heard benefits, various things where some approach has to be made, and I keep saying we should be doing this inside the tent, not outside the tent. But to have a referendum, an in-out referendum, because the other members won't let us change the rules, well, that strikes me. I'm, if you were to do that in cricket with the MCC, I think you would be laughed out of court. So, yes, by all means, we should be going into Europe. Yes, we should be talking to our partners. Yes, the other, there are others out there that are taking our side, and the discussions should be taking place, and good luck to Mr Cameron for doing it. Somebody has to do it. But to actually have an in-